Hey guys, welcome to Crytero. This is Lady Crybaby and I'm here to do a reading on DMX and his death. I'm going to be honest with you, I have not read the details so I don't even know what happened, okay? But I will tell you this, um, just from, okay, first of all, uh, family, friends and family, um, the fact that he's dead, de you know, dead, his death or being dead or passed away or on going on to the other side, you guys are sweating that real, real heavy. So the spirit said, go ahead and wipe your sweat. And, uh, he said, he, the spirit said he's going to send a breeze your way or DMX himself said he's going to send a breeze your way. Something's going to happen to cool all y'all off. Okay. Um, also, uh, he was the nail, I guess. Uh, he was the nail that held you guys' family together. And his wife was the hammer. Um, you guys are experiencing a situation where you're feeling as if, well, I'm going to give you a, an example. Like, for example, I just put my nail on and Spirit is telling me that DMX was like a small bottle of glue that was just the you know the glue that held your guys' family together. Uh, they said, um, however, being without him is like having the top off the glue. And what happens when the top is off the glue? Shit dries up, okay? So they said this is something that you guys didn't really realize or didn't come to grips with until now that he's passed okay um, so I pulled some cards on you on your energy and as I you know was coming across um, my you know energetic thought of the wife DMX's uh, wife or girlfriend they're saying I'm not sure if he's has a girlfriend or a wife but whoever she is she's considered the high priestess okay they said you got to have temperance and you got to have strength, okay, because DMX was a star. Okay, and what we're showing right here is the Queen of Pentacles, okay, so you um, are in a position where you got to master the money now. You're trying to figure out, you know, what to do, but you all also feel like you got the world, you know, at your hands. Um, you feel like DMX was a fool or being foolish, I guess, for going out there to do another show. So the High Priestess and the Lover's Car came out. So this is you right here, um, girlfriend or wife. or um, He said engaged. Were you guys engaged? Um, again, I don't know. I'm just, I, like I said, I'm only reading the, the, the spiritual energy. Um, and obviously you guys had a, a there was an eight of wands type situation, um, a good news or something along those lines, I guess travel, excitement. So I don't know if you went with him or something along those lines. So I don't know if you went with him or he did all of this for y'all. Or something along those lines. And you got a bunch of pinnacles over here. So it had everything to do with you guys' money or money situation. Um, the spirit said he, DMX, I'm not sure who think he was broke. DMX was not broke. Okay. DMX actually had, he had money. He had his own money. But he was, he went out to do a show from what I understand. And when he went out to do his show, he was going out there, you know, for the betterment of, you know, his family. Um, you know, to... You know, just to keep his money going like regular people, you know, like a job. But, of course, you're going to dive out there and do another show because you're trying to get it, you know, hit a lump sum or hit a big um, amount of money or whatever. However it go, he was just utilizing his craft, okay? So, again, he was taking advantage of his starship. All right, so there was some type, form of deceit. You got to, uh, let's see, I got my little stuff on a, on a, on a card, okay, that I wanted to tell you. So, um... There was feelings of disappointment or something like that in a relationship. So maybe that had to do with you guys' money. So again, bam, here's the star who dived off there to the world. 
And for something about it was foolish, okay? Something about it he should not have actually done. And for what reason? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hold on one second, you guys. I'm just looking for these papers, some uh, information on the paper that I wrote. But anyway, the concert, the concert, the concert. The concert is actually what he went he went out in the world for. Okay, again, so DMX is older, so I guess he was not, you know, or obviously he's not in the public eye as far as concerts and stuff like that are concerned. But um, when he went came out into the world, what he did was he had to take on a whole another energy okay so the energy that he had was like a youthful energy the energy of like a the way the energy that he carried when he was rapping and you know that aggressiveness that excitement that you know what i mean not necessarily that grit and growl and all that stuff because that's that part of the game come on man y'all y'all know that that's that's literally just this who bmx is you know grit and growl that's who who who, who he is as an individual or as a person well anyway as he go out into the world this and that he had to what he ended up doing was taking on another energy okay he took on the energy that he had when he was young well he's trying to take on um the energy of a knight when he's a king okay so but the energy that he went back into as a knight the reason why he went back into that energy is so that he can amp himself up pump himself up you know um for his concert you know kind of get his mind back right get in the, into the energy okay bam drugs now that's where drugs come into play that was just part of you know getting back on that wavelength okay everybody know how when you do drugs it alters your mind and all that old stuff well of course you know the guy has has a history um doing drugs well i mean there's a lot of motherfuckers out here getting high trying all kind of different shit so let's not look at dmx like oh he's just a supreme drug addict you know what i'm saying and stuff like that it was other things that he was dealing with now what he was dealing with was the dark side all right so here's where we get into it dmx sold his soul you guys he sold his soul to the devil um he, he was going out there to get money any any of these pinnacles all the pinnacles mean is that he's out there to try to make some type of betterment of his money using his own personal craft. You okay to get the, the get the uh, get the job done. He was a king of it. Okay, he was a king of the craft. Okay, he knew exactly what he was doing. The eight of pinnacles is like apprenticeship, or he went to work. He went to work on his craft. He dived out there to the world, went to work using his craft to get money okay so seven of pentacles it shows um you know that being patient being you know being patient to dive out back out there into the world to get his work done uh you know to get out get out there and get his money um that his hard work will pay off they said he have success material gains and all of this stuff from that now we all know that this is a lot of shit that the devil promises promises you okay so again spirits said and then my last reading that i did my personal reading that i did with myself at home it says that dmx had went out there to, you know again taking on that other energy um and it just was too much for his heart straight up between the drugs the energy that it took on, the energy that he took on from back then was is devilish energy. He's been fighting back and forth against the devil. But if you notice, his, his life was basically turmoil. That's because for his wife, and I apologize, you guys, for his um, the past wife that dealt with a lot of his bullshit is what he called it. Um, he said, my darling Clementine. So I don't know if he could consider you a fruit or what. But it's some type of... He said, oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. So I'm not sure who named it Clementine or if it's an, if you like oranges or what. But anyway, um, what he's saying is for her, for the one before, the one that I'm talking about now, of the one that's considered a high priestess, the one that... Um, you know that's considered his lover and so on or what you know before he before his passing put it this way all right so again i was telling you about the energy that 
he took on the energy of a knight when he's a king. So again, now the energy, the thumping of that, you know, just the getting ready, just the kind of jumping up and down, you know, shaking yourself out, getting ready to get out there, and then bam, you know what I mean? You take a hit of a crack pipe or I don't know a, a, a meth pipe or ice or whatever the hell he likes. I don't know. I don't know DMX, and I have not ever done a tarot card reading for something like this, like a worldly thing. I just started tarot, but I am an empath again. And I'm a psychic, and a lot of the information that I'm giving to you, and what I'm saying is being confirmed by these cards. All right, so again, like I said in the last reading that I did to myself, it was a knight that took on a, a excuse me, it was a king that took on the energy of a knight. So in other words, it's like a 50 year old man trying to take on the energy of like a 21 year old, or 24, or 18, 19 year old, you know, who out here rapping, rapping, bebopping, and this and that. See, he trying to go back into his old energy. Okay, now that that. Energy, as you know, we all know energy is fluid, period, for negative or positive, okay? So the same type of energy that works for the Lord is the same type of energy that the devil uses. He just comes from the bottom up when the Lord is coming from the top down. For example, if you want, I'm just giving you an example, okay? Because spiritually, you look down. That's where, when you, when they say, why are you looking down? Looking down is what you're actually supposed to do. Ain't that what comes to you naturally when you see motherfuckers or you don't want to see motherfuckers? You look down, okay? So, anyway, um, just to confirm the energy, the three of wands come up, okay? It says, um... We see a positive pattern of progression emerging here, taking the initial energy from the ace, then manifesting the idea and now a completion of those first steps, okay? So he thought about it. He went ahead and went for it. Um, it says, you know, success, planning, so on and so forth. All right. So let's go ahead and get some more energy for the day next week. So just to start, the next one right there. The star went out there because of a five of cups uh, moment with his queen of pentacles on his goddamn mind, his family, his woman, or whoever he was with. So the fool diving on out there and went to the world. The fool diving out there doesn't necessarily mean that that he's foolish. That just means that he he made a decision to dive out there that probably wasn't the best decision but all that means is that something something exciting something swift you know something like that okay all right all right so the chariot came out in the night of cups okay All right, so the Knight of Cups, of course, that's a man that's, you know, uh, wanting to do something for a man that's about filling up your cup, pretty much, and a king at it, you know what I mean, who got his own set ways of, of loving or doing what he do. So what he was doing was trying to get out there and, again, do something for his, his girl, his family, or whatever. All right. Um, Spirit said that the magician, he was a magician at what he did. He saw the light, but he was wounded and he was tired. Okay? They say he had a page of cups energy. He was, uh, the energy that DMX was under was, was, uh, for, he has a very strong voice, but they said DMX was kind of immature somewhere. Somewhere along the lines, he liked a certain level of maturity. The Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Something happened, okay, in his world. He, he did, he, it, it didn't work out, of course, for his favor. So the Wheel of Fortune, again, is in reverse. Knight of Wands. He was out there slaying, doing his thing, making it work. All right, spirit guys, give me some more on the DMX energy. Oh, all right. 
So here we go. His morals regarding his creativity. They just bow. I didn't even give you a chance to die. Uh, die. <laughs> Deal. His morals. Somebody calling somebody about this reading. Go ahead on the call, and baby girl, because I'm talking about I'm talking about some truth here. All right. So his morals, darkness and deception, surrounded his morals. Okay. Regarding his creativity, for some reason, them jumped right out. Again, he went out there to do that for for a uh, a woman or his for his family or something along those lines. He was clinging to the past, and for some reason, I said maturing, he lacked a, a certain level of maturity, they said, in the decision that he made, I guess. It was on his conscience, but when he was thinking about it, he did it. He was doing all that by himself. Again, he was thinking about his woman, her playfulness, so then he dived out there, had the courage to travel. But when he was traveling, he didn't realize that he was traveling into darkness. Okay? So, here we go. He was being conditioned. And that was something that he didn't know. Alright, so DMX, Akabo Hamahane, Heshim, Bedeka. Alright, so DMX was getting conditioned. So, what this was. Wow. Give me a minute, y'all. What this was, damn, his mind was going crazy. DMX knew that this was getting ready to happen, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. What he knew is that he had to pay the devil back. Before he did this, he isolated himself. All right. They said he isolated himself. And when he isolated himself, I guess he went in there. They said he was turning, in, turning into the spirit. Right before he was getting ready to celebrate or go to go out there to his concert, they said he was fighting off demons. God damn it. He was constantly fighting off demons. And they said he knew that this was his one last rodeo because they spoke to him before he actually went out there to do his concert or something. So what I'm getting by went out there, I'm getting the, the frame of mind that he was in like a hotel room or something like that ahead of time now i'm watching the movie paid in full the devil says that dmx paid him in full with this last round all right um he was friends with the devil i hate to say that he was also friends with his friends with his uh lover she you miss your friend you say it okay and letting go is damn so hard to do, but you trying to. You trying your hardest to let go. But uh, you got to be patient, the Spirit says. And you got to be spiritually guided. You got to go within and listen to your inner voice. The reason why I want you to listen to your inner voice, um, girlfriend, is what he said. So, And that's just the determination for me. As the, as the um, spirit guide, he says, the guide for his spirit so that you know that he's talking to not the wife at the moment. But he says I, he wants you to listen to your inner voice because he's going to talk to you. He says she heard me, so you must have heard him already speak to you. He said he was foolish. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to push these cars up here so y'all can kind of see them. He said he was foolish. Again, it shows that he was the fool, like on the last one. We have him right here again. So he was a fool twice. Okay. So they so doing that, they said that you and him both knew, knew I guess, that he shouldn't have done that concert. But that's because he was clinging to the past. They said he was receiving direction from the fucking devil. It did burden him because he knew he was leaving the woman of his dreams. And the woman that's looking over there is uh, 
I guess they said it was his the wife. So you knew he was getting married. You weren't jealous or whatever to a degree, but you did feel you felt something. And you said it was not necessarily jealousy, I guess, but whatever it is, that was on his mind, okay? That's what was burden, burdening him or whatever. But again, he was a mastermind, okay? So he thought about all the possibilities that could pop off, okay? They said that he saw light you know what i mean he's he's he they said they saw he saw his source satan is what who is what he just told said said and the bottom card right here look guys the, the bottom card is compromise he said he tried to compromise they say he said he tried to compromise but the guilt was just too heavy and if you could see <clears throat> it's like he tried to think po differently you know having flower in moments but the darkness and if you could see these hands clawing at his head hit at the person's uh head more than one that was all those evil spirits that was coming in um really letting him know that it wasn't no compromise baby boy it's time for you to rock and roll because you sold your soul and it's payment time and i do want you guys to know if i can actually turn over to here i'm watching the video paid in full i mean the uh, dvd movie paid in full so they said that uh dmx paid the devil in full they said that he had some type of um they said his heart something along seeing eye to eye with the devil and his heart not to mention the fact that that he said that you y'all two did not see eye to eye on some of the on some of the decisions dmx i'm going to say y'all two i'm talking about this high priestess okay that's right here on the table i don't know if y'all can see that the high priestess that was his lover okay now here you go again and here the lover's card came out again okay we seen the fool twice and we see the lover twice okay they said you know you know what i'm talking about so it was something that you two did together to decide that y'all that he should dive out there um and integrate you know himself from the regular life back to the world okay and he totally they said dived on out there and did that but somebody is a miser or either the devil wanted the payment one of the two okay so the devil put his hand down you two um girlfriend you tried to put your hand down and say i, I don't think you should really do this your innocence you know what i mean you had no idea that when you were telling him Baby, don't you think we should wait or something along those lines? I'm not sure. Um, you know, you you when you were saying that you were innocent to the fact that <clears throat> this would possibly be his last uh, rodeo is what they're calling it, but I don't, I don't or a show rodeo show is what they're saying. It was what the spirit is, is uh, labeling it rodeo show. All right, so basically DMX was high energy. Um, they said drugs was involved. I mean, I don't want to get too stuck. Let's not get too stuck on the drug thing. A gang of motherfuckers is getting higher than, higher than he, than DMX is. Look at all the knowledge the dude spit, though. High or not. Okay? So can you motherfucking clown motherfuckers spit the, spit the shit he spit? Shit, when you high? Okay? Or are you on noise, motherfucker? Um, all right, so then we have a again his pinnacles in full effect. The King of Wands came up, which I did not clarify this. Okay, the King of Wands they said is an entrepreneur, it says that because he's always full of creative ideas, um, and enthusiasm for his projects, 
the, uh, they said this person appears to be somewhat rash or impulsive in their decision making okay so again right before I said this it was I said something about y'all making this decision to get together or something and you said um oh baby like I don't know or whatever and it says because they're not afraid to take risks so the dude is a risk taking what you call motherfucker or mofo for somebody who didn't want me to call him a motherfucker okay all right um that pretty much sums it up so right now family y'all gotta go ahead on and go with the flow of it okay um The bottom line is there is a new vision, okay, for you. And the reason why it's a new vision is because, check this out. Here's the next card. You got a, a female, the one that's um, the lover. Listen, lady, ladybug. This is a black, this is a devil nothingness black magic card or black magic card i'm sorry uh just a dark card that came in okay and got him it says he experienced that it was a breakthrough check this out this is how serious this devil was in his life and in this deck the devil comes up because of the darkness okay Pardon me. I'm so sorry. I'm far over. But this is what he was dealing with, okay? He was experiencing that devil energy. Bam, look. They broke through. So if you look at these colors and then look at them, they go like this together. They broke through. Bam, a thunderbolt or the heart attack or the whatever they're saying. Some form of whatever went through him. It wasn't just a heart attack. It was the devil coming to get him probably by way you know sending his thunderbolts and his lightning or whatever to kill um you know to get his payment again the movie paid in full is on right now on my tv okay but before that dmx was he was chilling okay there was some form of uh oh the spirit said that he wasn't busy busy enough he was lazy i guess and that he didn't complete he didn't complete what he was supposed to give the devil. Okay? So, bam, they came on in, stirred up this concert, filled him with all this energy, you know what I'm saying, of, like, what he had when he was about 24 or something like that. And that's what happened, okay? That's what happened. That le that high level of energy. He, see, when you, can, you can't go from doing not, nothing really and then... Bam, you know what I mean? Having a serious breakthrough, just coming out, you know, just busting out like a star. You know what I'm saying? Busting out like the star that they say he that you know they say he is. And again, let's look at this star down here on the table. I'm trying to move it up, move it, move that closer. Okay, so here's the star busting on out, you know what I'm saying? But as he's busting on out. <laughs> He's experiencing some devilish shit. Now, the experience of devilishness, of course, some of they said some of you guys are saying, yeah, taking drugs. That's what he experienced. A high. Well, it was beyond that, okay, y'all. It wasn't just a high in his heart. Again, I, the movie Paid in Full is playing. And as a psychic, I know about synchronicities. And this is what happened, okay? The devil wanted to, his full payment. And I know people don't want to hear that. But look, he was intensely trying to go within and get away from that spirit. Postponement. Okay. Postponement of, and that's that was in reverse. Postponement of life, concert. They say just everybody, everything in the in the clouds, just all overall postponement of the concert life and everything is what they're saying. Okay, so I got to give you a final energy. You guys are stressing over that. Somebody is lacking, missing his love. You feel like 
the monkey motherfuckers got my man and things of that nature. Well, here you are, girl. That's you, sweetheart. And guess what? I'm going to end there because uh, people are talking about you. Your next card is We Are the World. All that is saying is that people are talking about you and how you're going to have to go back to regular, ordinary life and all of that. But you saying, fuck what you're talking about, motherfuckers, because I'm... I, I, I'm very successful, even though life will X slow down. I'm going to take it moment to moment. They said, yeah. Now, this is in uh, reverse. They said, he, they transformed his life. Okay? I'm going to take this with me over here. Because I'm going to leave you right there to let you know you on top of all of that, sweetheart. Okay? They tra transformed his life. But you said, trust this. I have awesome thoughts that's beyond me, you yourself, and everybody else, okay, that think that you might go down because you're not, because he's not there. That this includes the wife. You guys know that you guys go beyond anybody illusion and you go straight up to the heavens or wherever he's supposed to be. I hear DMX period, but the angel, but the devil is an angel as well. But just know that. You guys go beyond anybody's illusion, okay? And you go straight up there and you talk to DMX whenever you want to. So y'all make sure y'all figure out how to, you know, get in silence and understand that life is real, okay? And that even though uh, he just said, understand what I, what, put it this way. He said, understand what I just said, okay? Understand what me I just said, you see the dove looking up and this and that, and then he's the he got a, but again he's supposed to send something to cool you guys is off, guys off, including the wife and family and son and biological son and all that, sons I guess more than one maybe, but anyway just know he's coming in, and he says because he has been exhausted, okay, his time is up, his time was just simply up y'all, so just know that you beautiful. Um, female that he just loves so much who's the flower of his life just know that you have a lot to deal with and a lot of people compare you okay to the wife and things of that nature but just know it ain't no big deal okay because you're really you're willing to accept change and change is coming for you and I hate to tell you that you still are ripe and ready I don't say hate to tell you, but I want to tell you that you're still ripe and ready. And what I want to say is I hate to say that X said that life is real. So he know how real life is. He said he know that your ripeness and your cherry what may be, you know, he said it need to be healed. Check this out. You got a very understanding guy. He said he know that you're going to need love and healing. He said, so go ahead because abundance is always going to be on your side. Okay. For the both of y'all, the wife, the wife, uh, and, you know, he says he wants y'all to share. So I guess y'all need to figure out how to have a rebirth so y'all can share. He said, ain't no outsiders, okay? Ain't no rebelling. He said, it ain't no politicking. He said he wants you guys, this is in reverse, to have adventure, okay? And he wants you guys, kids, to, to share in on the adventure. He said he wants you guys to participate in life. This is in reverse. Have harmony, please. He says, look to the spirit. He said, there's one or both of y'all. He says, stop acting crazy. He said, and stop acting sad. He said, because he loves you. And he wants all of y'all to know that it's real. The bottom line is real, okay? So take his realness and all this stuff I said and just know that, hey, they said, he said he pay his debts. He said he pay his debts, period. All right, that's your reading from Cry Tarot. I'm Lady Cry Baby. Um, if you like what you just saw about the DMX reading, um, just know that he was strong, he was bold, and he was willing. He knew what he did, okay? Sorrow was what he experienced before he passed away. And just know he would he also compared the dark side to the light side of life and just know that he was just real okay and that he accepts everything that he was part of he knew what he did he knew he had 
essentially sold his soul. That's why he said his fight is for, you know, anybody. You know, when he, he said in his assignment, you know, that he know. Because, again, when you sell your soul, your assign assignments are pretty much endless. He said that whatever he do, he's going to show up. He said for people that overdose or something along those lines and try to, I guess, the overdosers or whatever. And he said don't overdose or don't oversleep for some people. Uh, that he'll be there to help you, okay? They said He said so. I don't know. He said family. There's somebody in this family he might be looking towards to help them relieve and to... Uh, overcome any drug problems or something along those lines all right you guys so listen i'm criteria i gotta get out of here because my phone is ringing <laughs> and i told somebody i was gonna come and get them at 12 30 so um and i'm on mid uh on a central time so listen uh thank you again for listening um if you like uh what you just heard and what you just saw go ahead and hit the like uh, like share and subscribe button all right guys i'm out asking these blessings